Hello and welcome back to Ann's workshop again. Today we're going to be pouncing on color for a background and I've started out by base coating my piece with black uh, acrylic and I have what is called an elephant ear sponge. You can use uh, different synthetic sponges. The holier it is the better. If you want to use a, a sponge that is from the grocery store or that doesn't have holes in it, get it wet and then peach stuff away from it because you really want a light airy look to it and the elephant ear is one of the best. And we're going to start out by putting our sponge in our color and we're just going to dab it in there. Then we're going to go over to our paper and we're going to uh, mix that color into the sponge so that when we come off to the side we get a nice airy effect. We don't want it um, too solid. We want a nice, nice effect on it. And you just kind of have to play around, and I've kind of got a square there. Okay, play around with your sponge to get it to where it looks the color. Play around with it so you get your cut. There I go. Got it now. And then you're going to come over to your piece, and you're just going to start pouncing. And it's going to lay some color down. And just kind of work in a circular motion until you get it where you want it. This is a technique that's used on the KZ0108 Eagles in Flight Base. And if you're doing it on something that has a design and you get the pouncing on the design, all you do is come back and rebase coat it. So after we get our first color on, and we're going to remember we're going to work with three, and the black can count as one if you wanted to. Then I've got, first I start with intense blue. This is little boy blue. And so we do the same thing. We find, find our design in our sponge, and then we're going to come back in and sponge it on again. And we're not going to do it as heavy. We're going to do it lighter and airier till you get that, till you get the look that you want. Okay. And then, as an extra uh, measure, if you wanted to come into white and you could have some accent points and this is where you just put the little bit of white just here there and yonder just to finish lightening it up and that's how you do a background with a sponge where you are sponging it on and you just kind of dab it here and there and yonder and i hope this was informative for you uh you can see the complete technique for this base at kz0108 at www.annceramics.com if you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to email me at ann at annceramics.com and I'll be glad to answer any questions you have. And if you have ideas for videos, things that you just quite aren't getting, just let me know and we'll be glad to add them to our repertoire. Thank you for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you again.